Welcome to Recap King. In this video, we will explain Cook Up a Storm. This movie tells the story of a culinary competition that becomes a battleground as a famous Cantonese street food chef goes up against his Michelin starred, classically trained rival. Can he win against his main opponent, who is none other than his father? Let's find out in Cook Up a Storm. Cook Up a Storm begins by showing an old town area in Hong Kong known as Spring Avenue. There is a Chinese food restaurant called Seven Restaurant in the area which is always crowded with customers because the dishes are known to be very delicious. The chef at the restaurant is a young man named Sky Ko. Sky is well known in the Spring Avenue area as someone who has excellent cooking skills. The food never disappoints and is always delicious. Meanwhile, in another place, the atmosphere of the baptism of a baby descended from the king was seen. This very important event, of course, attracted the attention of all important elements of the kingdom and was attended by many people. The royal family specially invited a Michelin stared chef who is responsible for cooking all kinds of dishes at the christening. The chef's name is Paul An, a South Korean man who studied culinary arts in Paris. Paul and his assistant, a woman named Mayo, managed to impress the royal family with the delicacy of their dishes at the event. Because of that, Paul was offered a promotion by his boss, but Paul turned down the offer because he wanted to pursue his dream of owning his own restaurant. Together with his colleagues, Paul was finally able to establish a restaurant located in Hong Kong. Returning to Spring Avenue, Sky just learned from the residents that the area where he lives will be undergoing renovations. It becomes a more modern area, where there will be many new buildings that might make the area more widely known. After that, Sky looks pensive remembering his childhood memories with his father, Mountain Co. However, these memories are not good memories because his father often hurled harsh words at him and thought that he was not talented at cooking and felt embarrassed because of it. Mountain then told Sky that he would never admit him as a child, unless he proved himself to be a great cook. After that, Mountain decided to pursue his culinary career and made the excuse that Sky can't even make a decent bowl of noodles. He then entrusts Sky to his best friend, a man named Seven who is a reliable chef and owner of Seven Restaurant. Because of that, Sky spent 20 years training to become a great chef under Seven's guidance, to prove to his father that he too can be a great chef. Paul, who was already in Hong Kong, decided to buy grouper at the traditional market a few days later. Of the many fish sellers, only one trader sells grouper according to his wishes. However, the seller does not want to sell the fish to Paul and prefers to sell it to Sky because only Sky can process the fish into a delicious dish in that area. But because Paul insisted, the seller ended up splitting the fish in half so that the two great cooks could both get the fish. The scene then switches to showing the grand opening of a new restaurant called Stellar which is located right next to Seven Restaurant. Stellar is a white luxury restaurant founded by Paul and his colleagues. There is a stark difference between Seven and Stellar restaurants, where Seven Restaurant looks ordinary when compared to Stellar which is very luxurious. On the first day of its opening, the residents of Spring Avenue staged a demonstration in front of the Stellar restaurant and asked the restaurant's head chef to have a duel with Sky, who is known to be the best chef in the area. Paul and Sky finally meet again and they duel to show each other's cooking skills. Paul shows his ability to separate the thorns one by one from a fish. Meanwhile, Sky showed his ability to slice fish. One of the visitors who witnessed the duel then registered them to participate in a national cooking competition. The competition results will greatly affect the good image of Seven Restaurant which is in danger of being evicted by the local government as part of the restoration plan of the Spring Avenue area. In an interview on television, Paul stated that the weakness of Chinese food dishes is that they are too monotonous and do not keep up with the times. It's very different from Western food that Paul works with, where he can develop various creations in their cooking and continue to create innovations in cooking. Hearing this, Sky became increasingly challenged to beat Paul in a cooking competition. The winner in the cooking competition will have the opportunity to duel with a very great master chef nicknamed the God of Cookery, who is none other than Sky's father, Mountain Co. When interviewed, Mountain Co. denied knowing the chef surnamed Co. from Seven Restaurant who participated in the cooking competition. He said that in China a lot of people have the surname Co., the same surname as him. The next day, Mayo visits Seven Restaurant and invites Sky and his partner, a girl named Yuni, to come to Stellar's restaurant. Once there, Sky and Yuni are served various delicious food and have a unique appearance. Knowing that Paul was showing off his abilities, Sky immediately forced his way into the restaurant kitchen and threw the food in front of Paul. Paul then challenges Sky to cultivate a piece of beef. Sky immediately accepted the challenge. Deftly, Sky immediately made processed beef that looked very appetizing and very delicious. Not wanting to be left behind, Paul also takes advantage of his ability to process dishes more modernly and maximize them so that his dishes look more tempting in terms of appearance and aroma. 
When Sky inhaled the delicious aroma of Paul's dish, he then walked away. Meanwhile, Paul seemed impressed with the taste of Sky's cooking. While contemplating alone in the restaurant, Sky gets a call from Seven asking him to come somewhere. Sky immediately came to the address that was told by Seven. However, he was surprised because he finally met his father after so long. This time, Sky didn't want to acknowledge Mountain Co as his father because the man had left him just to pursue a career as a master chef. Mountain Co even argued that he didn't want to make Sky feel burdened by his reputation and prowess as a chef. Mountain then tells Sky to prove his worth in the cooking competition. Since then, Sky was ambitious to beat his father. Not long after, the day of the cooking competition arrived, where Paul and Sky had already taken the stage to prepare everything before the competition started. The winner of this competition will enter an international cooking competition and duel with skilled chefs from all over the world. Sky makes a traditional salt-baked duck in the competition and cooks it the conventional way. On the other hand, Paul cooks with a more modern method of making dessert, a foie gras sorbet. After the cooking time was over, the judges began to evaluate. While both tied in points, the judges declare Paul as the victor, as his dish presentation was superior to Sky's bland plating. Sky, who was disappointed because he couldn't win the competition, immediately left the stage. The next day, Sky decided not to come to work at the restaurant. Seven knows where Sky hangs out at night, then goes to him to cheer him up. Seven said that in a match, losing and winning are normal. He then tells his story while traveling, where he meets two little monks who offer him their lunch. At that time, he had assessed that there were several errors in the food processing. However, he was even touched by the words of the two little monks who said that the food was made by them, where they grew the wheat themselves, then processed it into food ingredients to become a dish that could be enjoyed. The little monks said that they really appreciate every dish they eat to appreciate the hard work of the people who have made the food to enjoy it. Therefore, he advised Sky that skill is needed in feeling and cooking and emphasized how important it is to appreciate every dish no matter how it tastes. Meanwhile at Stellar, Paul is having a conversation with his comrades. While celebrating their victory, the restaurant manager tells Paul that he wants to replace him with mayo, reasoning that a woman is far more appealing on media than a man. Betrayed and confused, Paul tries to defend his position as head chef, but Mayo exposes his dark secret. It turns out that Paul has a problem with his sense of taste, where he can't distinguish certain tastes, especially saltiness. On a day-to-day -day basis, Paul uses a notebook with all of his recipes and asks others to taste test for him. Not only that, but Mayo also admitted that she had an affair with the manager and said that she never loved Paul and only used him to pursue her ambition as a professional chef. Paul, who was very angry and disappointed, then left Stellar. Shortly after, Sky bumps into Paul drinking at an event stadium. The two also tell each other about their past and the reason they decided to become great chefs. They find mutual respect for each other. Paul and Sky have a common goal of reaching Take Culinary Top and decided to team up. As they sit facing the legendary God of Cookery banner, Paul reveals that Mountain Co. has been his role model for cooking. After that, Sky then revealed that Mountain Co. was his father. Although Paul only thought Sky was bragging at first, but after hearing his past, he finally believed in his story. Elsewhere, Stellar owners are seen trying to convince Seven to sell their restaurant to them, but the man refuses. Not long after, Sky came with Paul, where Paul reminded the Stellar restaurant's owners that he is eligible to compete at the culinary championship, not them as the winner of the competition. Paul also announced his partnership with Sky to enter the cooking competition. The Stellar restaurant owner seems surprised by that technicality. They then left the Seven restaurant and thought Paul had betrayed. Since then, Sky and Paul started training to hone their cooking skills to compete with other chefs in international cooking competitions. Over time, they became more and more familiar with each other. Finally, the day of the international cooking competition arrived. Paul and Sky will work together and showcase their culinary strengths to compete against four other great chefs. In this competition, Paul and Sky will face great chefs from France, India, Japan, and also Mayo. The master chefs show their expertise in processing food ingredients and making delicious and appetizing dishes. Paul and Sky decided to make Mapo Tofu. Paul used Sky's sense of taste to help him determine the flavor of ingredients. Sky uses Paul's knowledge of molecular science and culinary artistry to create a traditional dish with a modern design. Long story short, Paul and Sky finally came out victorious in the cooking competition. After the competition ended, Paul said that in the cooking competition against Mountain Co., only one of them was allowed to fight the god of cookery. Because Paul has lost his sense of taste, he relents and allows Sky to face his father. Paul had realized from the start Sky's latent desire to fight his father head-on and wanted to give him a chance to make it happen. Paul is very grateful that he has achieved success that exceeds his expectations to date, even though he has limitations in tasting food taste. 
A few days later, Sky finally faces off against his father, Mountain Co., in a cooking competition that draws people's attention around the world and is watched by many. When the competition had started and Mountain was getting ready to cook, Sky was pensive and reminisced about his childhood. Unexpectedly, Mountain went straight to Sky and sprayed water on his face to wake him up. Sky then realized and started cooking. In this cooking competition, Sky decided to make a noodle dish, which is a very simple dish for an international cooking competition. On the other hand, Mountain makes dishes that are very luxurious, artistic, and of course very delicious. After that, Sky delivered the food to Mountain, the same noodle dish that Mountain cooked for him before he left Sky a few years ago. After the father tasted the food, Sky walked away. But then, Mountain, who finally recognized his son's prowess in cooking, called Sky and praised him. Sky just smiled at his father before finally leaving the stage, and Mountain Co. continues to emotionally eat his noodles. The film ends by showing Sky, Paul, and everyone else in the Spring Avenue area getting ready to celebrate Chinese New Year at Seven Restaurant.